hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so we're going to be solving uh, question one from tutorial sheet two and this is about dimensional analysis and um, the question is simple and straightforward so what we just need to do is to derive the dimensional formula for what we've been told to find and then we also di uh, derive the dimensional formulas for the uh, for, for, for what we've been given like the acceleration gravity and the pressure so let us uh, quickly begin to do that so the first thing that you need to do if you have not yet subscribed to the channel click on the subscription button or simply just um, uh, 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 yeah click on the subscription button and then later on click on the notification button there and then if you have any questions feel free to contact me on, on, on any of these numbers all right so let's quickly uh, begin to do uh, the question so the question is if the speed of light c acceleration due to gravity g and the pressure p are taken as fundamental units meaning they are uh, they are expressed in uh, the the what is the, the the fundamental units in short okay uh, the dimensions of gravi uh, of gravitational constant the dimensions of gravitational constant g are so the first thing that you need to understand you need to know um, the formula for uh, the gravitational constant we know that the force of gravity is given by the formula g and then m1 times m2 and then everything divided by r squared so now if we make an assumption that m1 is equal to m2 which we, which we are just going to write as m so this is just the same as um, g m times m over r squared so this is just the same as g m squared over r squared so um yeah so what we are going to do is this or maybe let me not say it this way let me just say let me just say this let me not confuse you with this let me just tell you let, let me just say m the units let, let, let us just begin to write the units or before we even start writing the units let's make g the subject since we want the gravitational constant so g is when we make g the subject of the formula we're going to have g is equal to um f times when you cross multiply there r which is just the um the distance between the two masses and then over m1 m2 so this one the 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 the, the, the uh what is the formula for force is ma it's mass times acceleration so we know mass times acceleration times r squared over m1 m2 so 1m can um can uh, cancel with uh, 1m there then what we just remain with is a r squared so a acceleration so the acceleration um the dimensional formula for acceleration is also found by let's say acceleration is given by the velocity over the time so or let me say the units for acceleration is simply meters per second squared so meters this one is the distance so we're going to call it the length then over the time which is just going to be represented by a capital letter t so this one when we write it properly it can be written as um, t to the power t oh, so this one is squared then t negative 2 there because it has gone up so the dimensional um units the, the dimensions for acceleration will be l t to the power negative 2 and then we're multiplying this with uh, r which is the distance as well so this will also be l squared then everything divided by the mass so the mass is um m the mass is m so we'll leave it the way it is so to take the mass on top there so we're going to have l times l this will be l to the power three and then t to the power negative three uh to the power negative two rather and then we have m which is m to the power negative one there so this is these are the dimensions for uh g so let us write them properly so g we have g which is equal to um we said it's um m to the power m was uh power uh, negative one and then we also found l to be three l to the power three and then the other one we found was um t to the power uh, negative 2 t to the power negative 2 so let us also find the dimensions for c so the dimensions for c 
will simply just be equal to the dimensions for C. We know that speed of light, speed is equal to the units for speed is um, meters per second. So this is just L over T, which can be written as L T to the power negative 1. So this is M. We don't have M, so we raise it to power 0. Then we have L uh, to the power 1 and then T to the power negative 1. So this is C. And then we also find the dimensions for pressure. So pressure, we know to say pressure is equal to the force over the area. So the force there is Ma. So mass times acceleration, we know to say acceleration is L uh, T to the power negative uh, 2. Let me write it properly. So M, then we have L T to the power negative 2. And then um, down there we have um, L squared. So one L and one L there will cancel. So meaning the dimensions for pressure will be uh, M T to the power negative 2. Then one L, we are remaining with one L down. So the dimensions will therefore be equal to M T to the power negative 2. Then when this L comes up, we have L to the power negative 1. Yeah, so this is what we have. So the dimensions for pressure will be m to the power 1, t to the, uh, and then l to the power negative 1, and then t to the power negative 2. Alright, so now that we have found the dimensions for what we've been given in the question, what else is remaining? Gravity. So the dimensions for gravity, we, ha we know that gravity is just the same as acceleration. She's just, um, we found the dimensions for acceleration to be um, L T to the power negative 2. So L, so let me start with M. M to the power 0, then we have L to the power um, 1, and then T to the power negative 2. So now that we've found all the dimensions, we can, uh, let us make an assumption that G is equal to uh, C, which we've been given there, the speed of light, we say to the power X, and then C, and then the other one is the gravity. We've been told that the gravity is to the power. I mean, uh, the gravity is also part uh, of the equation, which is we're going to give it y. And then we also have the pressure, which we're going to give z. So now to find the dimensions for this, <coughs> for g, <coughs> to find the dimensions for g, excuse me, okay. So this one is going to be straightforward. So the dimensions for G is therefore going to be equal to. So G, I'm going to write it here. So the G, I'm going to write it where it is. So I'm, I'll write the dimensions for G this side. Now uh, M to the power negative 1, L to the power 3. Then we have T to the power negative 2. So this one will be equal to... Um, this one will be equal to um, uh, C times G times P. So C is this one. So I have M0, L1, T negative 1. Everything has been raised to the power X. Then we are multiplying with G. G is this one. So we have M0, L1, T negative 2. And then we're raising to power y. Then we have P, the pressure which is there. So the pressure will be, yeah, so the pressure is going to be uh, M1, L negative 1, T negative 2, the power z. So now what we're going to do here is that we're going to get the powers and then uh, we know to say, let me remind you this, according to mathematics we know to say, when you have an equation like this one, as long as you have the same bases, let's say you have uh, this side, the, okay, let me not even get anything else, let me get from the equation. So if you have, this side we have m, m is raised to the power negative 1, and then on the other side we have m to the power 0, 0 times x there when you distribute the power x, x times um, 0 there, the answer is 
0. So this one will be m to, to the power 0. And then we say when you are multiplying two numbers with the same base. Okay, before I go to that, let me get another m. So another m will be m time m to the power y. So y times 0 there, it will still give us 0 there. And then we have um, m1 to the power m to the power 1 times z. So 1 times z, this will give us z. So when you have uh, an equation which has the same bases, so if the bases are the same, it means that the powers are the same. But before we go to that, we have to deal with this part first. F first of all, so we have m to the power negative 1 on the left, then this is equal to, when you're multiplying uh, exponents or exponential functions with the same base, you simply just add the power. So um, we're going to have m 0 plus 0 plus z. So we have m 0 plus 0 plus z, and then this side we had m to the power negative 1. So now, since the bases are the same, since the bases are the same, this implies that the powers are also the same. When the bases are equal, the powers are also equal. So this one is z. So if the powers are equal, we can now conclude and say uh, negative 1 is equal to z. So 0 plus 0 plus z, this will just be the same as uh, z. So negative 1 is equal to z. So just from there, we can conclude to say we have found the value of z to be negative 1. Let us uh, move on to finding the other dimensions. So z has been found to be negative 1. Let us now move on to L. So L, we're going to do the same. So go through the same procedure for L. The same procedure that we've gone through for, 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 for M, we're going to do it for L. So L, we know that L is raised to the power 3. So we're going to say L to the power 3 on this one, on this side. This side, the first L is raised to power 1. 1 times x, we're going to say L to the power 1 times x. This will give us x. And then you also have... Um, and then you also have... You also have... Um, uh, here you have L to the power 1. 1 times y, this will be L to the power y. So we're multiplying another L to the power y. And then we also have another L there. Negative 1 times z, that would be negative z. So we have another L to the power negative z. So what happens is that this side we have L to the power 3. This side, since we're multiplying L values, we're multiplying L values, L times L times L. Since the bases are the same, it means that the powers I mean, since the bases are the same and we're multiplying uh, them, it means that we add the powers. So we're going to have L, X plus Y minus Z. So this is negative Z, that's why I've written minus Z. So since the bases are equal, it means that the powers are also equal. So we say 3 is equal to X plus Y minus Z. But remember, we found Z to be equal to negative 1. So where there's Z, we can just put negative 1. So we have 3 is equal to X plus Y have x plus y and then when we put negative 1 there we're going to have 3 is equal to x plus y plus 1 so when you take this one to the other side of the equal sign we're going to have uh, 3 minus 1 is equal to x plus y so x plus y will therefore be equal to 2 so we'll keep this as our equation 1 x plus y is equal to 2 so let us quickly now let us quickly move on to the next uh, uh, dimension, which is uh, the time there. So t, yeah. So t on this uh, left-hand side, t is t is raised to the power negative two, and then on the other side, the first one here, t is negative is raised to the power negative one times x. So this would be t to the power negative x, and then we have t to the power negative two times y. So this would be t to the power negative 2y and then we have t to the power negative 2 times z this will be t to the power negative 2z so since the bases are the same it means that we add the powers so we're going to have t to the power you have negative x you have negative 2y you have negative um, 2z yeah so you see the reason why i cancel the z is because I don't want it to look like 2. So since the bases are the same, 
it means that the powers are also the same so say negative 2 is equal to negative x minus 2y and then minus 2 and then z there but remember that z is just equal to um, negative 1 so we replace negative 1 there I'm going to have negative 2 is equal to negative x minus 2y then minus 2 then negative 1 there so when we replace it there we're going to have negative 2 is equal to negative x negative 2y and then plus 2 so when these two crosses the equal sign we're going to have uh, negative 2 minus 2 is equal to negative x minus 2y so from there we can say negative 4 is equal to negative x minus 2y so when we simplify this expression you discover that the answer that you are going to find i mean the simplified version of this when you divide by negative on both sides you're going to have x plus 2y is equal to 4 so this is our equation 2 so we can solve these two equations this one and this one simultaneously so we can make one the substitute value so we can say x is equal to 4 minus 2y so i'm going to replace this in this expression so while this x i'll put 4 minus 2y so i'm going to say 4 minus 2y then plus y this y here uh, plus y is equal to this 2 so we say 4 when we add this to negative 2y and y we're getting negative y and then this is equal to 2 so this 2 uh, this 4 goes to the other side of the equation we remain with negative y is equal to 2 minus uh, 4 so this negative y will therefore be equal to negative 2 so the value of y is equal to 2 then to find the value of x x is equal to said x uh, where is it we said x is equal to 4 minus 2y so we say 4 minus 2 while there's y we put 2 there so this this value of x would be 4 minus 4 so x will therefore be equal to 0 so the values that we have found now according to our calculations now according to our calculations we found that um we have found that x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 and z is equal to uh, negative 1 so now to write this to find the dimensions for um, for the gravitational constant uh, the dimension for g will therefore be equal to c to the power because we assumed that g is equal to that so this would be c to the power uh, 0 because c was raised to power x so this would be c to the power 0 and then we have um g to the power y which is g to the power 2 and then we also have uh, p to the power z so p to the power z z is negative 1 so this is the final answer this is how you deal with dimension analysis so see you in the next tutorial video my name is hamted feel free to ask me any questions on whatsapp on telegram on youtube or any social media platform even facebook I'm ready to, ex to to respond anytime. All right, so um, for questions, make sure that you send them to this line to these lines on the screen. My name is Hamted. Shalom, shalom.